the EV Michigan Road Trip, sponsored by LaFontaine Ford Grand Rapids. About halfway through our EV Michigan road trip now in Port Huron this morning. One of the most common myths surrounding electric vehicles is that they're actually worse for our environment. Meteorologist Samantha Jacks joins us live this morning and Sam, you spoke to several experts about this. What did you find out? Yeah, this was such a big question that we were asked. Now, electric vehicles are very different from internal combustion vehicles in one way, and that's that the car itself does not have an engine. And the batteries used in EVs do have a very large environmental footprint, but nowhere near as large as a carbon footprint as a regular gas car. Let's take a look. As electric vehicles become more popular, there are concerns that they are not as environmentally friendly as promised. We spoke to several experts who have spent the last 10 years studying the environmental impacts of EVs who say otherwise. The, the driving the average electric vehicle produces about half the emissions of driving the average gasoline vehicle. So then where does this misconception come from? From a life cycle perspective, electric vehicles have a much lower impact than a gasoline vehicle. Key term, life cycle. At the start of making an EV, they're actually worse for the environment due to the battery making process. Batteries is really the biggest difference between the two vehicles. So we look really closely at battery manufacturing and it turns out that it is more energy intensive, and more pollution associated with making the batteries than making uh, the gasoline vehicle. So brand new off the lot, EVs actually do have more emissions and pollutions associated with them, but it doesn't take long for that statistic to change. But because when you're operating it, it's so much cleaner over time, you're going to and uh, uh, essentially the EV will be cleaner. Uh, a passenger vehicle EV roughly, but within two years of driving that vehicle, you will make up for the difference in emissions. And then after that, you are in the clear. This is because gas powered vehicles are emitting pollutions every day you drive it. And the level of pollution associated with the extraction of oil and refining of gasoline. And that's assuming the average grid, the average electricity grid. If you're if you have solar on your roof or you're powering up with renew renewable energy, you're choosing that through your utility provider, um, you know, the, the more benefits you're going to get. To take this one step further, EV batteries can be repurposed and recycled. An, an electric vehicle uh, reaches the end of its life after, say, 10 to 15 years. Um, before recycling, actually, the battery can be repurposed and the battery can um, then be used for stationary storage. So this means that it could be used to support um, you know, solar arrays, it can, it can charge in the middle of the day and then release in the evening when there isn't as much um, electricity being generated. Um, and then, as you mentioned, recycling, you know, all of the batteries can be recycled no matter if they were repurposed or if they weren't. Now, their study went on to say that regular cars would need to get, get this, 91 miles per gallon to equal the global warming emissions of an EV, completely debunking the fact that EVs are just as bad for the environment as ICE vehicles. Guys. Some really helpful information this morning, Sam. And we've gotten a lot of viewer questions about those electric vehicle batteries this week. Todd from Grand Rapids wants to know how long batteries last and what it costs to replace the battery, Sam. Yeah, that's a really great question, Emily. We've looked into this a lot. It on average goes between about 10 to 15 years. It's about 100,000 to 200,000 miles driven. Now, of course, that will vary person to person depending on how often you drive your car. And then at that point in time, the battery would need to be replaced in terms of cost in the same way that if you're getting a regular car maintenance, depending on the type of EV that you have, the battery could cost you anywhere from 2,000 to $10,000 to be replaced. But Overall, the biggest thing to mention is that that battery can be recycled and repurposed up to 70 to 80 percent. All right, Sam, getting those questions answered and you can still send us your questions. Just text the word car to 616-559-1310 and follow along on our EV road trip on air and on our website, 13onyourside.com.